Hi, my name is Brandon Masulo, and I'm the Director of Behavioral Health Services here at Worcester Community Hospital. And we're going to take you through a little bit of a walkthrough of our department here. Uh, we're actually relatively brand new. This, build, this part of the building opened in 2019. As you walk in Behavioral Health, we do have a beautiful landscape here, a landscape photo. Um, and as you come into the program, the, the programs that we do offer here at Worcester Community Hospital are two levels of care. One is called intensive outpatient, and the other is called partial hospitalization. Basically what those are is uh, our patients come in on average three days a week, and they get a mixture of individual counseling, group counseling, psychiatry, uh, we have family therapy options, and we also have a nurse on staff that helps with medications, uh, refills, uh, and sort of helps patients manage some medical complications that they might have. You'll check in here at our front desk, and you'll meet Kim. Uh, Kim is our behavioral health coordinator. She does a lot of outreach for us, and she also is probably the person you'll talk to the most if you ever call us or if you ever start the program. And as you come in, our small little waiting room here. <clears throat> this is our board. So when we have patients who complete our program, uh, both our intensive outpatient and our aftercare program, they put a nice little quote here on the board, uh, sort of something for us to remember them by and also inspiration for those people who are just coming into the program. As you move further, this is what we call our community room. Um, with, with COVID regulations, we've actually changed this into more of a group room. So every patient gets their own table, they're six feet apart. Uh, we do a majority of our group counseling uh, in this room, and I'll show you a couple more back there. But the therapist is up there at the board, the topic that she talks about. We do have virtual or telehealth options. If patients are more comfortable that way, they come in through the screen up there at the top. And back at this part, we have two additional group rooms here. Uh, both group rooms do have natural sunlight, which is great. And usually when, a, when we do group counseling, uh, it's uh, topics that we're working on, anxiety, depression, uh, fear of failure, cognitive distortions, changing thoughts, negative automatic thoughts, uh, self-care, uh, numerous other aspects as behavioral health goes as well. So this is typically where we would do these types of groups. And this is a, our, our last group room. <clears throat> Usually if we have a lot of patients on the virtual platform, we come in here because we have a nice big TV screen for that. Uh, we also do what's called a process group in here. A process group is where Basically, you come in and you talk about uh, things that are on your mind. Um, stressors for today, things you're struggling with, uh, um, anything that's really on your mind that we can help you out with. Uh, a big part of our intensive outpatient program is actually individual counseling and psychiatry. Right back here is where our counselors and our psychiatrists' offices are. So we have four full-time therapists. Uh, each has their own office back here. And I'll show you a couple of the offices. This is my office. So obviously we do have individual and family counseling in, in this environment. Also, if you're gonna start the program, chances are you'll do an intake with me. So this is a place where we'll meet and talk about a little bit about the program, uh, the services. A lot of people have insurance questions too, so we can get those answered as well. Um, so counseling, intakes, family therapy, this is done in this office here. And then we have another office here. This is Rachel's office. She's one of our full-time therapists. Also, she does individual counseling, group counseling, uh, intake assessments into the program, which is your first meeting with us. And then back here, this office is where our nurse, Amber, does all of her evaluations. <clears throat> so you do get a nursing assessment when you're in the program. Uh, basically a nice review of your medical issues. Our nurse is very helpful with medication refills uh, and helping our physician uh, treat some of the medical issues that sometimes come along with uh, depression, anxiety, uh, bipolar, uh, and all types of mental illness. And then last but not least, this is where our psychiatrist's office is. Our psychiatrist is Dr. Sharon DeLauro. Uh, she's been with us for a little over three years now. So. This is where patients will meet with her, do a psychiatric evaluation. Uh, she can do medication management, 
Uh, she is a board certified psychiatrist who's been um, practicing psychiatry for a number of years. And this is her office. And then you are right back out to where we started. <laughs>